If the horror genre enjoys enormous success by reflecting society's collective phobias back at them, what's really better than watching a murderous movie intruder breaking into a house that looks just like your own at 3am? Ah, yes, that's the good stuff. Now, let me just go and check my windows again. As with anything popular, the home invasion movie has been driven firmly into the ground by dozens, if not hundreds of imitators hoping to cash in on a hit trend. Yet the cream inevitably rises to the top, as is certainly the case with these 10 home invasion films, which rank among the best of their kind. For those that actively seek out that unnerving feeling of not being safe in their own space, then these are horror movie gold dust. From clever subversions of the subgenre's formula to more conventional yet equally spectacular efforts, these films will all firmly get under your skin, and maybe even leave you sleeping with the light on. You did lock that back door, didn't you? I am the locksmith, Ash from What Culture Horror, and these are the 10 best home invasion movies. 10. The Strangers Though marketed as a run-of-the-mill studio-backed horror film, 2008's The Strangers proved to be an uncommonly atmospheric entry into the subgenre, following couple Kristen and James as they're terrorised by a trio of masked murderers. In addition to writer-director Brian Bettino's lovely visuals, the chilly brilliance of The Strangers lies in its nihilism and senselessness that surrounds its violence. There's no convoluted backstory here. The villains simply do what they do because they like it, which is infinitely more terrifying than a specifically motivated killer whose reasons we might at least be able to understand. The performances are strong, it is remarkably well made for a directorial debut, and it knows just when to ramp up the sadistic violence and when to tone it down. Most of all, like the best entries into the genre, it is a genuinely anxious sit if watched whilst home alone. However, the less said about the sequel, aside from the exceptional pool fight scene, the better. 9. Mother Darren Aronofsky's Mother is unquestionably one of the most divisive releases of the last few years, a deeply disturbing psychological horror in which a woman and her acclaimed poet husband find their home increasingly preyed upon by fans of his work. Though Mother gets no points for subtlety, being a hilariously obvious allegory for both religion and the state of the world today, it is nevertheless bracingly effective as a viscerally discomforting, boxed-in, supernatural home invasion horror. Jennifer Lawrence gives one of her finest performances to date as the title character, put through the ringer by Aronofsky, especially during the film's oft-nauseating third act. What it lacks in realism, it nevertheless compensates for with its unforgettable imagery, ranging from thought-provoking to shamelessly gross. It is certainly not for everyone, but Mother is nothing if not a one-of-the-kind entry into the genre. 8. Funny Games it goes without saying that a home invasion film from Austrian veteran filmmaker Mikhail Haneke will be anything but simple or generic, and indeed his 1997 cult classic Funny Games, which was also remade by Haneke himself in 2007 with a Hollywood cast, is one of the most startling films of its kind. From an opening title sequence which blares ear-splittingly unpleasant grindcore music at viewers, it's clear that Haneke has no interest in coddling or pandering to the audience during this dread-soaked ordeal, in which two men take a family hostage and torture them. Hanukkah effectively created the film as a critique of Hollywood's more flippant, trashy thriller movies, to the extent that when the family appears to stage an escape, one of the killers breaks the fourth wall and appends everything you thought possible in a film like this. Worse still, the movie's bleaker than bleak ending holds nothing back, and its haunting final image effectively sees Hanukkah laughing at the audience for expecting the expected. Again, it is not for all tastes, but an undeniably diverting riff on well-trod material regardless. 7. You're Next Adam Wingard's Your Next is a ferociously singular home invasion film, taking the genre's formula and flipping it on its head in the most playfully brutal way possible. Though on paper the premise seems totally ordinary, a family is attacked by masked assailants during a wedding anniversary getaway, the big twist is that the protagonist Erin grew up on a survivalist compound and has a special set of skills to fight back against her aggressors. The terrific central performance is matched by Wingard's creatively gnarly approach to violence, resulting in some of the genre's most memorable kills of the last decade. Though hardly a masterclass of character work or storytelling, Your Next dismantles genre tropes with electrifying skill and provides a welcome reply to the home invasion movie's moldier tendencies. 6. Better Watch Out Better Watch Out is absolutely one of those movies best watch whilst knowing as little as possible, so we'll keep the specifics brief here. The basic premise sees 12-year-old Luke and his babysitter Ashley on the run from an armed intruder, in what turns out to be anything but a conventional home invasion horror. With an ironic Christmas time setting and a continual battle of wits between victims and aggressor, the Home Alone comparisons are undeniable. 
However, between its continual subversion of expectations, excellent central performances, and free-flowing tone, Better Watch Out is far more than inspired pastiche. Again, if the base premise hooks you at all, it's best to go in without even bothering to watch the trailer. You won't regret it. 5. Don't Breathe Don't Breathe offers up a singularly grimy spin on a familiar premise by centering the movie less on the person having their home broken into and more on the people doing the breaking in. The film follows three young criminals who invade the house of a blind war veteran in order to steal $300,000 in cash. Good, yes, very moral choice. What seems like a routine robbery is soon revealed to be not routine at all when the man aggressively fights back despite his handicap, resulting in an 88-minute exercise in palm-soaking suspense. Director Feli Alvarez employs creative camera work to accentuate his film's claustrophobic setting, while the performances from Jane Levy and Stephen Lang in particular are absolutely remarkable. With its fierce commitment to economic storytelling whilst unafraid to go to some deeply stomach-churning places, Don't Breathe is the rare kind of lurid horror that truly makes you want to take a long, soapy shower afterwards. And never baste a turkey again, Christmas is definitely ruined. 4. Sleep Tight Though certainly the least mainstream entry on this list, Sleep Tight is a brilliantly creative and deeply unsettling take on the home invasion movie, revolving around Caesar, the troubled concierge of an apartment building who uses his position to intimately interfere with the lives of the tenants. This deeply disturbing film from one of Rex's directors, Jaume Balaguero, is another movie best watched whilst knowing as little as possible, given the highly unpredictable and escalatory nature of its slow burn premise. Needless to say, there are incredible performances that are a revolting marvel to behold, whilst Balaguero's direction reaches at times Hitchcockian levels of gut-wrenching suspense. Better still, flecks of black comedy are sure to leave you wincing as you laugh, even if the end result is largely a film which leaves a bruising impact on anyone who watches it. 3. Us the most significant recent entry into the home invasion genre also happens to be arguably one of the best, Jordan Peele's tricky but mesmerizing Us. While some were left disappointed by the movie as a follow-up to his Oscar-winning Get Out, on its own merits it is nevertheless a powerful and distinctly creepy horror film, following a family who find themselves besieged by their own doppelgangers. The main reason Us works as well as it does is Lupita Nyong'o's sublime dual performance as Adelaide and her tethered double Red, managing to play alternately vulnerable and intensely imposing as the two parts require. Even if you're not fully on board with the movie's later dramatic detours, it couldn't feel more relevant right now. Yet even as a pure piece of savvy genre filmmaking, its scuzzy brutality is matched only by its thick atmosphere. 2. Inside Released at the height of the new French extremity horror movement, Inside is a brilliant but traumatic film which follows a pregnant woman who finds herself preyed upon by a murderous intruder with designs on her unborn baby. Filmed with a stylish brutality by Julienne Maury and Alexandre Bastillo, Inside pulls no punches whatsoever during its breezy 82 minutes, making the absolute most of its elegantly simple premise, which gives the floor to deliver a pair of exceptionally authentic performances. It's certainly not for the faint of stomach, especially during its queasy climax, yet the juxtaposition of extreme violence with a typically cosy Christmas Eve setting ensures the film nails a tone and mood unlike anything else in the genre. Whatever you do though, don't bother with the inferior and pointless 2016 English language remake. 1. Hush Hush is a potent lesson in how to make a taut, engaging movie on an incredibly tight budget. Horror maestro Mike Flanagan made this mostly silent horror film for a mere $1 million, yet the ingeniousness of its execution quickly reels viewers in regardless. The premise is simple. Maddie Young is a deaf mute woman who finds her solitary woodland abode attacked by a masked killer. To his enormous credit, Flanagan exploits the unique hook for everything it's work, immersing the audience in a near wordless world whilst having the film's antagonist terrorize Maddie in ways specific to her condition. If you are sick of relentless jump scares and tension cords, then Hush is certainly the home invasion film for you, even if its true triumph is a spectacularly gutsy performance from Kate Sagal. Clocking in at a tight 81 minutes, it is a snappy, cleverly executed sprint of a film which transcends mere gimmickry to deliver pure white knuckle tension. And that's our list. What other homely movies should invade their way onto this list? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.